Welcome back. A very exciting morning for us this morning. We are joined live by comedian, TV host, author, and activist Chelsea Handler. She's bringing her vaccinated and horny tour to Paso Robles, and we're so excited to have her. Thank you so much for joining us this morning, Chelsea. Hi, good morning, Paso Robles. Yeah, let's go. You said go. it right, Paso Robles. We were talking about that. Uh, it's kind of exciting for me. I really don't get to say horny on the air very much, but I've been cleared since vaccinated and horny is the name of your tour. Uh, we'll talk about that in a second, but first you're just back from Mallorca, right? I did. I, I spent a month in Spain um, to, you know, rejuvenate, uh, recalibrate. <laughs> I had a lot of girlfriends come through. It was actually, uh, probably the most exercise <laughs> I've ever had on any vacation. So right. it was something, very nice to come home. Is something wrong something with the audio? Something just happened with the video. Oh, uh, too bad. Jenny. Okay, there you are. Okay. All right. So your people. Your people were trying to join us. That's okay. So, so okay. you're back from Mallorca. Amazing. You're jumping into this tour. It's very grueling. How do you get yourself ready to go? Well, I was just saying, I, I was in Mallorca, and I don't think I've exercised ever as much as I did on this last vacation. So instead of coming back feeling tired and bloated from my normal vacations, <laughs> which usually consist of drinking and lounging around, I went on lots of biking, hiking, scuba diving, lots of excursions. So I am feeling refreshed. And uh, yeah, I started my tour uh, last night again. And um, yeah, I'm in Paso Robles, so uh, yeah, I'm, I'm ready to rumble. This is the last leg of this tour, which I've been on for about a year, so this will be the last time people can see it before it comes out. That's right, and how do you keep it fresh? Vaccinated and horny, you're talking about COVID, you're very, you know, advocating about getting your vaccinations. You also talked about your dating. What else do you talk about on the show, and how do you keep the show fresh? Uh, I talk, well, I mean, you know, when you take breaks from it, it helps keep it fresh. I always take, like, I like to do three months on, one month off. Um, I talk a lot about the disrespect that my dogs have for me and uh, <laughs> the fact that they think my housekeeper is their birth mother and that I came home after one month and with absolutely zero reaction from them or enthusiasm from them for me walking in the door. All I could think about was, I can't wait to see my dogs. I can't wait to see my dogs. And then I get in and just, they are like, who are you? That's hilarious. All right, I wanna talk quickly um, about your social media. It's, it's a wild ride. It's very fun. Only you could get away with skiing down a mountain with pasties and you know your, your drinks. Who runs it? And um, you also answer DMs. One time I DM'd you because you were in Santa Barbara at the bowl, I was supposed to interview you and unfortunately it fell through and I said how disappointed I was and you were so nice to respond. You said, I'm sorry, honey. So that was sweet, always remember that. So tell us about oh. your social media. You have such a big platform. Oh, well, you know, I just decided to lean into it. At first it seemed annoying, social media, you know, because you don't want to have to like post things and, yeah, and posturing and all of that. So I just tried to keep it real, like everything in my life. I think if, and, you know, if you're a fan of mine, you kind of rely on me for telling you the truth about what's happening in my life in that moment. You know, I'm kind of an oversharer by nature. So I've made a career out of just telling my story. And so, yeah, I have fun with it now. Yeah, and I like to do my annual ski video where I ski topless <laughs> down a mountain with a margarita in one hand and a joint in the other because I'm an advocate for both. <laughs> and uh, and I love to ski. So yes, that's, my, uh, that's always on there. And then, you know, I like to rant and rave about many other things. People wearing no socks on planes and putting their feet up. That's a big issue for me. I've been flying around the world and the country a lot, and I really think people need to get a grip on their plane etiquette, because yes. things have gotten wildly out of control. They are out of control on planes, for sure. And you're an advocate for voting rights and Planned Parenthood. Talk about those as well. Uh, yeah, I think, you know, as many as, as as many women, you know, women can talk about it all they want. It would be very nice to have more men standing up for the rights of women, you know, not just agreeing with our rights, but men who are actually fighting the fight with us um, instead of, you know, just kind of being passively supportive. So that, I'm a real advocate for that as well. You know, we need all the help we can get right now in this kind of political climate where people's rights are being contracted instead of expanded. You know, I'm a human rights advocate. I want everybody to have rights. I want everybody to have the opportunity to have a life like I have. Um, you know, not people who are just born with a certain skin color or born in the right part of the world. So as you know, this is these are just issues that are important to me and that I like to stand up for and remind people about because, uh, 
you know, if you see something, say something. We love you for that. Okay, one last thing before we let you go. What's next for you? I mean, you've got your podcast, you have all this stuff going on. What's next? Or are you going to take another month long trip and take another break after this tour is over? No, I'm back on the work. I'm back on the work train. Uh, I have a, a comedy special, which I'll be announcing soon. That'll be coming out. I have a TV show, a Peacock, that uh, hopefully will be coming out based on my last book. Wow. Life will be the death of me. I'm writing a new book right now. Um, and uh, yeah, I always have things. I like to mix it up. You know, I like to do stand up. I like to do TV. We'll possibly, we're talk in talks to reboot Chelsea lately and to Chelsea later. So that would be really exciting if that could come to fruition because I'm ready to get back on TV and, uh, you know, and, and have a have a regular gig. Uh, yeah, well, so we'll see. But yeah, there's always something around the corner. All right, well, we definitely need you back on Late Night. That was such a great show. All right, thank you so much, Chelsea Handler. We appreciate it. We're going to give away some tickets as well. You can enter for a chance to win four tickets to see Chelsea Handler at Vena Robles Amphitheater on October 21st. Just head to our website, keyt.com, and click on the Play tab. The contest is open from now until Friday. The winner will be contacted on Monday, October 12th. Again, Chelsea, thank you so much for joining us. We really appreciate having you this morning. Oh, thank you. Have a great day. You too.